team of researchers from Israel and the US have discovered that a squid, octopus and cuttlefish make extensive internal RNA edits that challenges the evolutionary paradigm. In RNA editing, a DNA sequence gets copied and transferred into the length of an RNA. Then a unique enzyme clamps onto the specifically designed RNA structures. Once attached, it can swap out certain chemicals within the RNA structure to alter the RNA's coded message. The processed RNA produces a protein unlike what would have emerged if the RNA had remained unaltered. The team publishing in the journal Cell confirmed that the enzyme in these high-paced RNA editing cephalopods replaces adenine with inosine. The team found RNA edits going on inside nerve cells. They deducted between 80 and 130,000 editing sites in protein-coded regions. They wrote, this process has the capacity to recode codons and fine-tune protein functions. The study authors noted how the enzyme works. It binds to a certain three-dimensional RNA structure like a can opener, latching onto the top lid of a can of beans. And just like a can opener cannot open a bag of chips this way, but only cans with the same sized edges, the enzyme only works on specifically shaped RNA. Working backward, this means that the DNA that specifies the editable RNA must maintain a very similar sequence over countless generations. Even a small change, a mutation, would make the lip of that can either too large or too small, or could ruin the necessary can opener shape. In like manner, if a cell wants that editable RNA, it will need just the right shape for the can opener enzyme to latch onto and to do its thing. In cells, DNA maintains that shape by keeping the same sequence of chemicals, the four familiar bases, in just the right order. Put it another way, this study revealed an unanticipated genome rigidity required to maintain the extensive RNA editing. Why didn't they anticipate this? Why did they call this rigidity most surprising? Probably because they know that rigid genomes cannot evolve. Evolution requires the opposite, flexible genomes. DNA that cannot change without compromising RNA recoding cannot evolve. This study authors concluded that these genetically unique creatures have traded traditional DNA evolution for the ability to fine-tune their own proteins through RNA editing. But does this address the elephant in the room? If the DNA is too rigid to evolve, then how did it evolve? In other words, how could it originate by evolution if evolution by DNA mutations is off the table? In light of the ultra-high-tech ability of these animals to optimize their own vital genetic material using precise RNA recoding molecular machines and procedures, these researchers should wonder if it evolved at all, or if it was designed. Darwinists have tried to spin this feat as a special kind of evolution, but the people at Evolution News cut through this nonsense and identify RNA editing for what it is, non-evolution. This is also an emerging field of research, which means it's possible, in theory, that other organisms make extensive use of RNA editing and we're just not aware of it yet. If, as one popular science website puts it, other creatures can defy the central dogma of genetics, the implications for Darwin's tree of life and his entire theory are dire. Thanks for watching everyone and may you all have a blessed day.